conservation. Uh, America's natural uh, natural wonders are, are our nation's heart and soul. They unite and inspire us and connect us to like something bigger than ourselves. Uh, from his first day in office, President Biden has taken historical steps to protect and preserve and restore them. He has set our like nation's first ever national conservation goal to protect at least 30% of our lands and waters by 2030. He still also like uh, permitted like uh, oil companies for doing offshore drilling as well too. Um, so there's that. And continuing on, including by supporting local led and voluntary and voluntary efforts. Today he's on track to conserve more American lands and waters than any of present history. Over forty one acres so far, including dozens of new national monuments, wildlife refuge, and other protected uh, areas from the Grand Canyon to the Great Lakes. Trump is the only president in history to have like stripped public land in protection and then he is like designated. I'm actually kinda of surprised at that, but like okay. I'm not sure that other presidents were equally as terrible as that as well, too. But, like, all right. Opening up like 10 millions of acres of our like most pristine national monuments to mining and drilling. The administration has reversed that, canceling lease in the Arctic uh, National Wildlife Refuge and prohibiting new leasing in, like, Minnesota's uh, boundary waters. Restoring important protections for places like... Uh, Grand Staircase uh, Escalation National Mo Monument and Bear Ears National Monument in Utah, expanding the like um, San Gabriel San Gabriel's uh, Mountains National Mo uh, Monument in California, and protecting places that are too special to develop up uh, uh, develop like uh, Alaska's uh, blistering bay. Going forward, Democrats will increase protection for America's Arctic and ensure clean water for all Americans by protecting rivers and waste. Wa and wetlands. We will protect our oceans by working to designate new marine uh, sanctuaries and protect uh, uh, coastal communities from like climate impact. Uh, you would you will approve of the offshore gr drilling. I kind of doubt you will do that, honestly. We will keep pushing to the like a fun, uh, fully fund uh, the land and water conservation fund, partnering with the like, state and local governments to, and to and work to reduce the threats of our of iconic old uh, growth um, force. Um, we'll reward Americans across the country who uh, engage in voluntary conservation on private lands. Um, if we swear totally protecting the oceans. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. We reward Americans across the country who engage in voluntary conservation on private lands, and we will work with landowners to protect endangered species of our economy by restoring in habitats and enhancing biodiversity and continuing to protect lands and waters and national monuments. Um, some private landowners will want to just like kill those like uh, creatures. I'm just saying. Hey, you're gonna only have like meaningful relationships up to like 150 people. I never heard of the Dunbar rules. Um, so it's like that. Like that's arguing that like we should like have like uh, communities be on. Um, not want to have meaningful relationships with as many people as that possibly you can beyond 150. I feel that Lucidia. All right. Okay, on. Um, with these uh, global climate leadership, and again, America first sort of thing too. Um, with these like um, historical actions, sustained engagement, President Biden has restored America's global leadership once again, making our like nation uh, the world's uh, pivot of uh, a pivotal force against climate change. I believe it when I see it. Uh, the United States rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement on day one of its presidency, and President Biden set the ambitious goal to reach net zero com emissions by uh, 2050. It, it's probably too late by that uh, then, honestly. We cannot reverse climate change uh, disaster from happening. And like, it, and asking for like reaching the net zero emissions by 2050 is not soon enough, and is like not good enough. We have to fully re like dismantle the entire like uh, fossil fuel industry, and I don't know how to do that honestly. And Biden is not for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. In line with like line science, 
Um, he used to he used to restore power of America. Example, oh, to like oppress other nations to do more. For 20, 155 like countries did agree to slash methane emissions, uh, potent like greenhouse gas by at least like 30 percent by the end of this decade. The United States is increasing the resilience, diversity, and security of our clean excuse me our clean energy supply chains. Excuse me. Uh, while making sure that they will reflect our values, including by creating like a good paying like and safe jobs uh, for workers, the administration has like uh, rallied uh, uh, the world to commit uh, for the first time to transition away from fossil fuels. It's like set a new bold goal for like nations to like triple renew energy worldwide and to double energy efforts by 2030, and it will help launch a new uh, global clean energy supply chain partnership to make it happen. Yeah, exactly, Lucidia. We've been it's, not, it, it, it's like like Bell and Science guy, for example. He's just like he's like the other or other scientists like said this in the box to know. Yeah, the scientists community is kind of given up. We can inform you what the science says about like climate change, and like there's there's so much unwillingness to like change fundamentally like the fossil fuel industry or how they run things as well too or how we uh, change our reliance on fossil fuel worldwide that the scientists are kind of like what's the point of like reporting on our like findings of like climate change as well too it's terrible it's disastrous and like the leadership of like all these nations have some of that. I'm not going to like get rid of the fossil fuel industry in order to like uh, combat against climate change, or do degrowth, or reduce the number of cars on the roads, or do there's something about rearranging in society in such that like we wouldn't have to like drive so much or be so reliant on a jet fuel and other things like that. And always been and it's been a whole consorted effort it's in the longest time. In public education about this sort of thing too to like imply it is like a personal choice that you are doing to do that you should work on in uh, decreasing your own carbon footprint when 71 percent of the uh, global emissions of like greenhouse gases come from like 100 different companies so the major problem is just capitalism in general but like the democrats are not uh, they are not against capitalism because they're for capitalism nancy Pelosi said well we're capitalists that's just the fact of it we are and so so long as it's still profitable to be to destroy the environment and continue using fossil fuels, you're never going to get companies to be benevolent dictators and decide not to use fossil fuels. You won't. So uh, we're going to continue on this like path of like a uh, climate change disaster because we are not willing to like change how we run society. We're not willing to like get off capitalism. We're not willing to like divest from the fossil fuel industry at all. The fossil fuel industry wants to continue to exist, much like TurboTax wants to and HR Brooklyn's continue to exist, and the media industry wants to continue to exist. So that's why IRS is not gonna do our taxes for us, and that's why we're not gonna be find easily and available and rapidly available and affordable like uh plantless uh meatless like um plant based alternative meats in our grocery stores. Because capitalism encourages the continued preparation of like one such corporation that fossil fuel industries will make sure they keep um, living and existing for as long as possible. And do I have to point to other examples of how like capitalism is not about like benevolent dictators? The cigarette companies knew full well that their, their products were causing cancer and like smoking and secondhand smoking, and they swear in front of Congress that like our products are safe to use. Silencing like the, the insiders that was going to want to go public with that information, nearly like killing them too. Uh, and, and like again, the fossil fuel industry it used to be lead in the gasoline, in the gasoline everywhere. We were breathing that in, that neurotoxin, and and the fossil fuel industry fought long and hard to prevent to have to like have to clean up their gasoline to remove lead it's now ubiquitous now that like all the gasoline thing uh, gasoline you get at the pump is like unleaded gasoline hey but if like we left it up to the fossil fuel industry to just police themselves they would never have done that and we would still have like that neurotoxin in our all over in, the, in our bodies and all of our bodies but it's dangerous to the human body honestly
Anyway, continue on. As Democrats, we believe the United States have an indispensable role to play in solving the climate crisis. We have an obligation to help other nations carry out this work. America's leadership in domestic clean energy development is driving a global life cycle of innovation and investment that will help lower the cost of clean energy technology in a fair and transparent way for our nation. We believe that the international uh, climate finance and uh, that in we believe that international climate finance is an important tool in this fight. That's why the administration committed uh, to archive uh, $11 billion of uh, climate financing a year by 2024 to help develop the international clean energy market and in, and in work with other nations to achieve a landmark uh, global goal of mobilizing $100 billion in collective like a uh, climate uh, financing by 2022. Uh, fulfilling the promise of the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. I hate when like capitalists try to think of the solution to the problems that they create, because then the capitalists will just say, "Oh, we just have to like you know, uh, do like carbon tax and carbon offsetting." All that means is that like the like uh, the industries that are continuing to like uh, uh, pump out. Um, Greenhouse gases just have to pay a tax in those world too. Again, make the polluters pay. But again, if it's like the the only crime, the punishment of such crimes is just a fee or something like that, even if it's like millions of dollars, a hundred millions of dollars for a billion dollar company, then it's just a crime, and then it's only a crime to poor people. Rich people are able to get away with it. Um, uh, continue on. Going forward, we will continue to support the efforts to boost like uh, funding for initiatives like Prepare, our, our program to build out better uh, early environment warning and systems for climate impacts and in critical regions of the globe. We will use America's leadership to like drive global in innovations and build our like uh, clean energy supply chains. We work towards like the multi annual development bank to elevate uh, climate and clean energy priorities within the global development finance system. We will build on our leadership in the innovative debt-free uh, debt for nature swap, and will has helped countries from Barbados to Ghana to restructure over two billions in debt so far, unlocking hundreds of millions of dollars of natural and climate investment. Why the hell are those countries in debt to begin with? Just forget the debt. And I hate how they kind of like going about like uh, the, the fixing the ch climate change in, uh, crisis is that like they're going to do a capitalist and to fix all the climate change crisis and all that sort of things. I just, I don't know. I don't like the sound of it as well.